Hi and a very warm welcome to another tutorial of Easy Video Series. Here we are covering LaTeX. In this, we will see the effect of paragraphs and new lines in LaTeX. Okay, so we begin with our document class article, the first line, then followed by begin document and end document closure. Everything between this is compiled. I am using Text Studio. You can use your own LaTeX editors. Okay, so section name. Let us give a good section name. Lines and paragraphs and spaces. So if you see, I am writing this is our second document. So let's say this is our document. So if you see, I have put an enter here. I have put a new line here. I have put a new line here. Okay, so line breaks have no effect in LaTeX. Let us just compile this using this button and just observe the output. For your convenience, I am keeping it in this. So if you can see, in this window, we have line, paragraphs and spaces. This becomes our section 1, line, paragraphs and spaces. This is our document. If you see on the left hand side, I had put a new line here. A new line here, a new line here, a new line here, a new line here. This is our document. But in LaTeX, this comes in a straight line. This is our document. So in LaTeX, everything is programmed. So even if you want a new line, you have to explicitly specify that you need a new line. Okay, so how that can be done is, let me copy this entire thing. So if you want in this manner, you have to specify two backslash. Okay, so two backslash specifies a new line. Now this will be a new line. This will be a new line. This again will be a new line. Okay, so let us check the output. You will understand it more clearly. So see. So if you see this, see basically I have a blank line here. Line number 10 is a blank line. So if you leave a blank line between the previous text document, previous text and the next text, it will assume, LaTeX assumes that it's a paragraph break. So hence you see this, and hence you see this appearing with a intent, indent here. Because it assumes this is a new paragraph. Okay. So now you see this is our so this we have two backslashes so this now a new line comes is two paragraphs two backslash is you get a new line here our you get two backslashes our it becomes a new line then document it comes in the next line okay so for specifying line breaks in latex you have to use two backslashes okay also for specifying a new paragraph you need to specify one blank line Okay, so see this is a paragraph, this is a paragraph. So just like spaces, if I leave multiple blank lines, one, two, three, so this has one, two, three, three blank lines. So this will leave, not leave a space of three lines. It will just leave a new paragraph beginning on a new line. So see, no effect of multiple three lines. I have left three lines here. So even if I leave one line, one spacing here, one line spacing between these two, the effect and the output remains the same. Let me compile it for you. So you see, no effect of multiple lines. So even if it is a single line or multiple lines, you will see this paragraph as indented and it begins a new paragraph. So in this lecture, we basically learned two things. If you want to specify a new line in LaTeX, you have to give two backslash. Okay, if you want to specify a new paragraph in LaTeX, give a single blank line between the text. So I can write here paragraph 1. I put a blank line enter paragraph 2. Sorry for the spelling mistake. Okay, let me compile this. So you see paragraph 1, paragraph 2. Okay. So if I let us paste some text here so that you can get a feel of what happens. So see paragraph 1 it automatically indents here. It writes everything. So the next line of the paragraph will be left aligned automatically. So a new paragraph again begins with a paragraph end. That's it. So you have learned about the paragraphs and how to create a new line in LaTeX. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.